Well, coming up in February is a sporting event here in New Zealand, which, uh, without wishing to sound like I'm trying to exaggerate it, it is going to be a unique sporting event. It's a relay. Nothing new you'd say in a relay, but wow. Wait till you hear the details of this relay. This is a four-man relay that is going to start at 90 Mile Beach and it finishes on the steps of the Beehive in Wellington. And the four people involved in this are all prominent sports people, uh, names that probably people that don't need much, much introduction. Uh, there's Ian Jones, the former All Black lock forward, uh, Mike King, not sure of his sporting CV, but uh, we'll call him a comedian. Uh, Rick Wells, a very prominent, one of the finest triathletes this country has produced. And Richie Barnett, uh, one of the best... Kiwis the sport has produced former New Zealand rugby league star I think he was a full, fullback from memory anyway the four of these guys are going to participate or going to compete in this relay they're going to bike they're going to swim and they're going to run from 90 mile beach to the beehive and it's all to raise awareness around the state of mental health in this country. We know these ongoing problems, these uh, ever-growing problems, this exasperation that increasing numbers of New Zealanders are uh, confronted with members of their own family and maybe themselves uh, struggling with their own mental health. So this Drew Drop Hope Challenge, it's called, the Drew Drop Hope Challenge, and it starts on the 1st of February, and the man behind it, and one of the competitors is Mike King. Mike, a uh, very good afternoon to you. And, um, well, where do I start here? Um, what are you doing? Are you going to swim, ride, and bike? Are you going to be part of this relay for sure? Well, yeah, I'm definitely part of the relay. Um, I've affectionately named it from the lighthouse to the shite house. Um, <laughs> and um, at the beginning of the year, Rick Wells and and Ian Jones came to us and said, "Look, we want to we want to you know try and help your charity out. Um, we've got this idea to do this this run swim you know this triathlon from the top of the north to the um, to Wellington." I said, "What a great idea, man! That's going to be so cool. I'm uh, I'll come down and cheerlead you on." They went, "No, no, <laughs> you, you're just and I was like, and true story, Tom. I said, "I can't swim." And that's a small, and it's a small problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but he had a big smile and went, "I'll teach you." Um, so I started swimming in January this year. Having oh, like I could, I I could flutter around in a pool, but I couldn't actually swim. The first twenty-five meters, I only just made it to the wall. But um, you know, he he worked on my technique, and I I, I can actually look like I've been swimming for a while now. So no, it's it's, it's uh, I'm I'm doing all of it except the running. My knees, are, I'm 60 years old. The knees are gone. So, but I'll be doing the uh, kayaking, the swimming, and the uh, push bike riding. So tell me about the a bit more about the swimming and where are you going to be swimming? What in the ocean? Yeah, it's ocean swimming. Yeah, m- mostly ocean swimming. So we're going to start at uh, at Cape Reinga. Uh, and start uh, swimming down the east coast. I think the, the you know the swims are about three to four kilometres, and there's a lot of hundred um, k bike rides, and and then reckon them will do the running. Um, what's what's really shocked me is uh, the shape that Rick Wells is still in. This, you know, I mean that guy is is a phenomena, and um, of course I went out and bought myself an electric bike for the um, you know for, for the for the challenge, and he just, mm. oh, man, the crap that that man's been giving me ever since. No, no, like, no, Mike. No, no, e- e-bikes is cheating. It's like taking drugs and athletics. That's what he, yeah, that's ex- like <laughs> the look of scorn on his face. I just, so <laughs> yeah. how fast on average, how fast on average are you going to be uh, bike running? Oh, about 25k an hour. I go, oh, so my e-bike that goes 35k an hour will be enough, and he was spluttering he still hasn't forgiven me <laughs> yeah uh, so if I'm with the swimming so you've you, do you are you going to start from the the shore or do you go out beyond the wave line uh, so actually uh no we do we do have uh reckon them will start from the shore but we do have chase boats or, or jet skis you know we have health and safety now tell you can't just go out and yeah, yeah i can't but stand you, you. you better have, better have surgeons on 
standby. You've got to have helicopters ghosting every step of wow. the way. You've got to have e perbs. You've got to have, oh, you, you just have to have everything. Shark repellent. You need shark cages in case you meet a shark. And yeah, it's, 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 it's wow. pretty intense. Well, wow, uh, it could be a fairly costly undertaking, couldn't it? Oh, uh, we've got so many people that are donating their time for free. We've been given trucks to carry the gear around by TR Trucks and Rainus um, uh, are doing all of the logistics for us. There's just so, so many amazing organisations mm. getting in behind us. So we've got 17 locations. We'll have 17 lots of barbecues and we're also, um, you know, meet and greets with communities. My school teams are always also going to be um, spending the day wherever we're finishing. I'll be in the schools for that day in that area, spreading the word, letting them know that there is a, a counselling service out there that is available, giving kids a better understanding of what counselling is about. And counselling is not about fixing kids. It's about giving them tools to help themselves and, and turning turning the scariness of counselling from a mental health intervention to it's just a conversation, guys. It's just a conversation. If you're struggling with your emotions, that's a normal part of life, and you have a conversation about it. Yes, I'm just. I was wondering how you were going to integrate the actual relay, the the, the sporting side of this undertaking, with the need for you to get this message across and reach people who may be suffering and may be wrestling with me- mental health problems. So, uh, just expand on that a little. So you've got uh, various kind of exercises uh, away from the actual yeah, relay so, that you're going to be doing. Yeah. So um, my charity, I am hope we. Um, we, 80% of, of our, of our um, work is based in schools, um, normalising counselling, uh, normalising the biggest problem in mental health today, which is, um, it, it's, not, um, it's not depression, it's not anxiety, it's not bullying or suicide ideation. These are all outcomes. The biggest problem facing young people today is an overactive and a critic those little negative conversations we have with ourselves, self-doubt. Um, and for young kids today, I mean, I've spent the last decade going around schools and listening to kids. And um, the biggest problem that our kids have today is they're living in a world where um, every adult's perfect and every adult's telling them how hard that, you know, that we worked when we were growing up and you haven't got any of the luxuries that we, uh, we didn't have any of the luxuries that you guys have got now and why did you get this wrong? You know, your kids come home, tell you about five things that happened there, day four, amazing, one's bad and all we ever focus on. What do you mean you failed that mass test? I told you on Thursday. So our kids are living in a world where they think everyone is perfect. And they're constantly thinking they're not good enough. So they're beating themselves up. But at the same time, like everybody else, they're putting on a mask of perfection and pretending they've got it together. So we just normalize overthinking. Um, We focus on um, what drives behavior rather than the behavior. Um, You know, why do bullies bully rather than let's just, you know, uh, kick all the bullies into touch. Um, And... And normalised counselling. So my team, uh, they'll be they'll be ahead of us. So wherever we are um, that um, at night. So on day one, I think we're parked in the far north. Uh, as soon as that's over, my team will head down to the next town oh, good. where yeah. we're finishing, yeah. and mm. they'll spend the day in the town. Mm. And generally, my job. Now I didn't want to say this out loud, uh, but my job is the hero run. So I wait, like I'll do the first part of the swim or whatever with the team. And then I'll go down to the next town. And as they come into town, I'll join the procession and pretend like I did the whole talk, you know, smile and wave for the cameras. And then I do a talk and uh, to to the local communities and give communities tools about how they can better support our kids. Mm. Um, and, and it's in ways that, you know, most people wouldn't uh, wouldn't um, expect, you know how 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 our behaviour, particularly men, how our our um, the way we've been brought up to be parents, how the devastating uh, effect that's having on our kids. So it's um you know it's a it's an education, it's a fun education trip uh, with a cause. 
Fantastic. I think it is an absolutely fantastic thing that you're doing, Mike, and I have no doubt that this is going to catch on, that it's um, uh, it's uniqueness and also what you're trying to achieve here. I think there is increasingly an awareness in the, across communities uh, about the difficulties that a lot of people and every family, including my own, um, have people have struggled with uh, mental health. And so, you know, it's just a pity I'm so old because, look, I'm a sub three hour marathon runner. I'm an ocean swimmer. I compete in ocean swims and I go for a 25 mile bike ride every Saturday morning but um, I'm too old, my knees are gone as well. No, so. no, no, no I'm going to put the challenge to you now Cal. <laughs> I want you at the at, at the Red Ribbon event which is the swim from the Harbour Bridge to the Viaduct the, so I'd like to invite you to join me and these real sporting legends uh, and there is no way in the hell um, you'll be slower than me, so no matter <laughs> what happens, I'll be coming with you. So it, it really would. How, how far is it? How, how, how far is it? How far is it? It's only a kilometre. It'll only be a kilometre. Oh and yeah, half okay, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, okay. So okay. that would be fantastic. It's on. It's on the thing. I will be contacting you uh, the day before the event, and we'll get you out there, and it'll be really, it'll be really cool to see you in the water with us. So, how do I get into the water if it's from the Harbour Bridge? Is it down at the? Do we? Jump? Don't worry about it, Sal. Yeah, yeah, I've got yeah. people. I've you're got not, people, son. Yeah. I've got people. You're not going to put they me on a. Helicopter you no, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. It'll be great to have you. You're not going to put me on a bungee jump into the harbour, are you? No, none of that, none of that. Yeah, okay. Aaron, no, okay, Mike, look, I'm more, more than willing to do it, mate, for sure, if, if, if I can help you Love in any it. way. But, uh, you know, my running days are well and truly gone. Biking and swimming I can handle, but that's about all at my ripe old age. Anyway, Mike, thanks well, very much and indeed for your time. Hopefully we might speak to Ian Jones next week and get, um, or one of the competitors and get some, or maybe Rick Wells as well, because he'll have an a interesting kind of view across all of these things. And uh, good luck. And, uh, yeah, look forward to hearing from you. Cheers, Mike. Have a nice Christmas. See you on the day, brother. Bye-bye.